everyone, I'm Jesse from DarkstonReviews.com and welcome to my haul and reviews and whatever it is for whatever day it is. April 30th? It's April 30th, but I guess it's for April 29th and last week as well because I didn't do another video last week. Forgot again. Well, I didn't forget. I didn't have time. Or I was tired. I was lazy. Whatever. Anyways. Hey Tim, uh, I left a uh, comment on your, your video with that uh, the package that you got for me. I'm really glad you like it. That's awesome. Uh, here's my Java right there with uh, Slave Leia. They go really well together, as you can see. Uh, anyways, Let's so Ottawa Comic Con is next week, uh, May 8, 9, 10. Uh, and Malcolm McDowell will be there. And I will be dressing up as Alex from Clockwork Orange. Uh, it took me a while to find all the pieces in town. I almost ordered one or two things online, but ended up finding everything I needed. Uh, put the everything together couple days ago and my wife took some pictures. Uh, I put them up on my Instagram and Twitter already, four of them. Uh, but if you haven't seen them, uh, just check this out really quickly. Here's just uh, four pictures of me as, uh, as Alex. All right, so there you go. Uh, tell me what you think. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do last week's first relief. Really, actually, I'll do even further back than that first. Um, I got a order from Midtown Comics at least two weeks ago, maybe longer, and I just keep forgetting to show it. Um, it's not much. Um, I got Harley Quinn, um, the annuals, both uh, copies. Um, I got the Canadian, or no, international versions originally, which has the scratch and sniff uh, Christmas tree. Um, but I wanted the US version too, and they had it for, I think it was less than cover price, so pretty cheap. Uh, with the, the uh, marijuana smell right there, and the bombshell cover again right there. Has the, the old nasty marijuana smell. Alright, so I got those. And they were allowing people to order one copy of Darth Vader issue three. I already had one. I figured, what the hell, I'll get another one too. So I got another one. And the Scotty Young Darth Vader number ones, which I was not able to get in any store around here. Got two of those. So I can have the whole uh, the three connecting covers now. Awesome. Uh, another Howard the Duck, Scotty Young. And I couldn't remember if I had this one or not, so I got it. Uh, no, I didn't have this one. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, Scotty Young, do, 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 do. that's it. Also, from last week, Scott Pilgrim Color Edition Hardback, Volume 6, finally came out. Awesome. Uh, I love these color hardback editions. They're so great. And um, just like all the other ones, there's tons of extras in the back sketches, concepts, uh, special artwork for t-shirts and posters, and this even has um, coloring Scott Pilgrim, uh, a bit of the uh, process involved there, so awesome. Excuse me. Oh, and this came in the mail. I never mentioned, I have a subscription to MAD. Um, I had one before a couple years ago, and then I got another one because it was uh, super cheap. Um, <clears throat> special promotion offer. Like they're, the cover price is five ninety nine, and with the subscription that I got, the deal it works out to. I don't even think it's three dollars per issue. It might be under three bucks per issue. So it's a pretty good deal. And this is the one with uh, Weird Al Yankovic as the uh, guest editor. Uh, I flipped through a little bit. Looks pretty funny. I like Mad. I used to read Cracked a lot when I was a kid too. I still have all of mine. Um. Also, okay, so this is uh, last week's, and I'm going to go through this really fast. Um, don't want this to be too, too long. Uh, Avengers Magazine, uh, this was free. Uh, I assume a lot of people got this, although I didn't notice it in anybody's video yet, um, unless I missed it. I didn't watch a lot of videos yet over the past week or so. I watched some. I didn't see this in anybody's, but this was free. So this is pretty cool. Um, it's got all kinds of... I don't know, I guess like history stuff and stuff on, uh, stuff on creators, just, uh, I didn't look at this too, too much yet, but, anyways, it's pretty cool. 
And right, so uh, I've been very good about not getting any uh, number ones uh, for the most part, just a little bit. There's too, way too many number ones coming out every week, so I've been really good about uh, getting very, very few of them, sometimes none. Uh, but I did pick up Infinite Loop, and uh, I really like this. Uh, I'm going to be getting issue two for sure. Um, I liked almost everything about this. I wasn't too big on the future that uh, Teddy and Ulysses come from, where um, love and affection no longer exist. You know, that, that kind of future has been kind of done to death, in my opinion, and it's usually not very interesting. Sometimes it is. Uh, I really like the movie Equilibrium with um, Christian Bale, <clears throat> where uh, all emotions are outlawed and suppressed with pills. That, that that works really well in that movie. Um, in this, uh, I don't know, but everything else I, I really liked about it, uh, the, the whole time travel and uh, um, removing anomalies and uh, the uh, the artwork is very uh, Darwin Cook style, as a lot of people have said. And uh, overall, yeah, I, I quite like this. Uh, definitely enough to get issue two. Uh, Postal three awesome series i love this series uh it's this is just it's so good uh <clears throat> well you can watch other people's videos raving about this uh who talks about this a lot adam day uh carnage man mike uh, you know you know you watch their videos and you'll see a um, lot of praise for postal it's it's great uh ms marvel which i had missed out on the previous week because silver snail got shorted um so i got that that's four I'm still a little behind on that one. Uh, the Max, issue 18. Creepy, 20. So, oh well. uh, Star Wars, issue 4. Haven't read that yet. Amazing Spider End, Spiral Part 2. Black Vortex, Omega. Guardians, 26. Captara, another number one. This was a miss for me. Um, I didn't hate it. Uh, I definitely did not like this enough to get issue two. Uh, I didn't think it was really that funny. You know, a cup. I didn't laugh out loud at, at any part. I, I, you know, maybe an odd chuckle here and there, but I didn't think it was very funny. Uh, the main character here, I found him kind of annoying. Um, just whines a lot and uh, the overall the, there's nothing really about the story that I found remotely original um, which is okay as long as um, there's characters in there that you find interesting you want to you know go with them on their adventure and all that sort of thing but for me it just didn't have any of that um, it was okay um, not good enough for number two uh, Star Wars issue four oh, this is the uh, Chewbacca uh, action figure variant. This was pretty cheap, so I picked it up. And, it, you know, it's Chewbacca, so why not, right? And Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, issue 4. Still loving this. Uh, I like this series a lot. This is a lot of fun. This is like the the conclusion with uh, her battle her battle against her, uh, Galactus. Um, yeah, it's pretty funny. I really like that. Um, Lady Mechanica, The Tablet of Destinies, issue 1. I bought a couple of Lady Mechanicas, I guess, a couple years ago, and I thought they were pretty good. Um, I like steampunk. I just don't see a lot of steampunk comics out there that look very interesting or well done to me. Maybe I haven't given them enough of a chance. Basically, I've just flipped through them in the stores. Um, but uh, I had bought the previous Lady Mechanica issues just based on the artwork, because the artwork is really nice, as you can see. Um, and uh, I read this, the, and this story is, is pretty good. Uh, I think I will get up, end up getting issue two of this. Um, I wish there was more steampunk stuff out there that looked interesting to me, because I do like that genre. Um, but yeah. And Convergence issue three, this was the worst issue so far, next to zero. Um, I like one and two, this kind of went down, uh, whatever. Okay, on to this week. I hope I'm going fast enough. Gem and the Holograms! <clears throat> Issue number two came out uh, today. Uh, this is the subscription cover. Um, this is, I think, the only cover that Silver Snail got. Um, it's the only one I saw. It's what was, in my, what was in my pull box. So, anyways, 
So that's pretty cool. Uh, I read this, of course, and it's great. It's so good. Um, he, so the misfits are introduced in this um, issue, and uh, you know, the the gem um, pages where they're playing music. Um, they're always it's always very pink, and the misfits is always going to be very lots of lime green and purples. I really love the really love the greens in this. So this is what music looks like in the comic because you can't hear it. And I love these splash pages of music. The uh, the lyric, lyrics swirling around and all these awesome shots, the eye and uh, I, just, I, I love the colors, I love the design, uh, it looks great. And uh, a lot of great facial expressions from Pizzazz here, rolling her eyes. Uh, and uh, there's Jem. So they're in a uh, Battle of the Bands contest, and uh, this is uh, Jem in the Hologram submission um, against the Misfits. Oh, and Rio is introduced in this issue, uh, but he's pretty different from uh, in the TV show, in the cartoon. Uh, him and Jerrica have known each other since I guess they were like kids and he's he works for Gem and the Holograms like as a not really a manager or I guess like a road manager or something like that um, but in the comic he is a journalist for a music magazine and he meets Jerrica for the very first time in this issue so that's pretty different um, but that's okay I guess um, see how that plays out um, <laughs> Uh, I love the artwork in this. It's great. Um, it's still kind of weird to see Jerrica um, have so little confidence in herself. That's still pretty strange from the TV show, which where she had a lot of confidence. Um, oh, and I was surprised by this uh, to see two of the orphans from the TV show show up in the comic. Uh, that's uh, Bonnie, and then there's uh, Ashley. Um, they were in quite a lot of the episodes of the TV show, but for some reason I just I just didn't think of them as I didn't think they would show up in the comic for some reason, so I was a little surprised to see that. But that's cool. Um, what else do we got? Oh yeah. <laughs> so in the show, actually I'll show you the uh, profile pages because they did this for Jim as well. So there's Pizzazz. Uh, I love her redesign. Same color of hair in the show, but uh, different uh, design. Uh, really crazy hair, much crazier than in the, in, the, in the show. But she's still got the, the the sort of leopard design, or not leopard, zebra zebra designs on her, which she always had in the show. And uh, Jetta. Uh, so we meet Jetta right away in the comic, whereas in the TV show she doesn't show up till season two or three. I don't remember now, but she's not in the first season. And it looks like she's had a race change. She's black now, um, which again, that's fine. And uh, here we have Stormer and Roxy, who have both put on some weight compared to the TV show, uh, just like Aja did for uh, Jem. Uh, Stormer is still like, uh, she's still like the good misfit. She's not that bad. Um, certainly nothing like Pizzazz. And uh, Roxy. So Stormer and Kimber, they were kind of like friends in the TV show. Um, I haven't rewatched the whole series yet. I have the DVDs, uh, but yeah, they were kind of like friends, sort of, from what I remember. Um, and in this, they're going to be a little more than friends. Uh, looks like they're both lesbians now, uh, so that's going to be interesting. Um, so Kimber sets up a date with Stormer here at some uh, coffee shop, and. Uh, and then Pizzat, and then the rest of the misfits, you know, spot them. And of course, Stormer's going to be labeled a traitor in the next issue. Um, so very similar conflicts uh, as uh, as uh, as there were in the TV show, um, involving Stormer, you know, being nice, and uh, Pizzazz wanting none, nothing to do with that. So that's great, um, awesome issue, love it. Um, and I got the other covers too, I'll show you. I put these up on my Instagram and uh, Twitter already, if you follow that. Uh, so this is the regular cover, which is awesome. Love, love, love this cover. And this is the plugged in edition with the green foil uh, on the 
the logo. And then we have Pizzazz, Jetta, Roxy, and Stormer, who is quite a bit thinner on the cover for some reason. Um, whatever. Nice cover though. Uh, I really like those. Awesome. Oh, and just like with the first issue, a box set is coming out one week later. I pre-ordered that from the Silver Snail, so I'm going to get that really cool looking box uh, from the Snail next week. Looking forward to that. And, oh, previews. Previews came out. Uh, it's Marvel. I didn't look through it yet. And the regular one. Stand. We stand on guard. Canadian themed uh, series. I definitely feel obligated to pick this up. It looks pretty cool. Um, I flipped wherever the page is in here. I checked it out briefly. It looks it looks actually really good and it's by Brian K. Vaughan and Steve Scroge. I don't know how to say his name. Um, but it actually looks really cool. Um, and there is one thing in here. If I can find it really really quick I will show you that I will be pre-ordering from the snail very soon because I must have this Oh, come on. Is that it? That's not it. Do, do, do. There may be an edit in here. Here we go. Here we go. I found it. Uh, Deadpool's Chimichanga <laughs> truck final figure. It's a pop, of course. Uh, so, yeah, you get Deadpool and a, and a Chimichanga truck. How awesome is that? That is a must buy. Comics, more comics. Oh, this was free. Uh, New York Bulletin presents Everything Ends, Secret Wars. I guess a lot of people got these. And uh, I don't know why I bagged and boarded this, but uh, previews, Secret Wars. So there's a bunch of previews in here for Secret Wars titles. Uh, Pisces, this is the one number one I picked up this time. Um, this was really good, I just read it. Hard to describe, it's about this guy and you, the first issue, you see, you see different points in his life, um, like being in a war, was it Vietnam? I think it was Vietnam, and being in the hospital at the beginning of the movie, uh, movie, issue. And at the end, he's like in space, and um, so I, eventually, I guess you find out like, like why this guy is important, and Ah, oh, man, I'm doing a terrible job of describing this. Uh, it's by Curtis G. Weeby, who writes Rat Queens and Peter Panzerfaust. I'm a huge fan of Peter Panzerfaust, and I have the first volume of Rat Queens, which is awesome. Um, it's interesting. It's weird. I really want to see what's going on with this. Uh, so uh, I'm definitely going to get issue two. I'm a Pisces. Um, yeah, I did a horrible job of describing this. It's very good, though. Um, Let's grab this quickly. Hopefully this video is almost over. Brides of Helheim, issue five. I think I'm two or three issues behind on that. Uh, Haunted Horror, 16? 16. Multiversity, issue two. So this is the conclusion of Grant Morris's Multiversity. Um, this is a stupid price too, I think, right? $5.99. Yikes. Batman 40, I did not get the movie variant of The Mask because, first of all, that's a pretty cool cover itself, and I'm not a big fan of The Mask, sorry, you know, I don't think that's a great movie. Uh, Justice League, I did get the movie variant. I've never seen the movie Magic Mike, Magic Mike, which is, this is from, uh, but uh, Batman's pose here <laughs> made me laugh, so that's a buy. Uh, Convergence number four. I read this. This is better than issue three. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Convergence, Plastic Man and the Freedom Fighters. I do not know very much about Plastic Man. I've seen Plastic Man many times, never really read him before, but he always looked like fun, so I picked this up and I read it, and it was fun. I liked it. Uh, I'm going to get the second one. Uh, Convergence Detective Comics. Haven't read this one yet. Uh, Convergence Action Comics. I actually bought this just because Amanda Connor did the cover, and I really like Amanda Connor. Uh, but the artwork inside by, I forget who it is, um, um, actually looks really good, and I read a review for this, and apparently this is actually pretty good, so I'm glad it's good. 
uh, Silk issue three. That's the regular cover. And when I was at, I got that's what I'm, the one I got at Silver Snail. And when I was at the comic book shop, they had uh, a very <clears throat> a what the duck, the Howard the Duck variant for a regular price, which is pretty cool. That's by uh, Nick uh, Pitara, Pitaria, whatever his name is, who drew uh, draws a uh, Manhattan Projects. So that's a pretty cool cover. I like that. Um, Ultron Forever, The New Avengers, Issue 1. I did not read the first one yet. The uh, first Ultron Forever. I haven't read that yet. Um, Avengers, New Avengers. This is the last one, I think. Issue 33. Didn't read that one yet. And Avengers, Issue 44. I think that's the last one as well. I had not read that one yet either. And that's it. I hope that wasn't too long. We'll see. Um, okay, so that's it, that's all. I'm Jesse from DarkstonReviews.com. I always appreciate your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Thank you to all who have subscribed. And thanks for watching and see ya.